Rohan Murphy. I'm a youth motivational speaker from Long Island, New York. Oh! <laughs> the Big Apple. <laughs> and today I'm here with you all to share my story and to tell you how I overcame not having legs. I was born with a very severe birth defect that let both my legs form. And for the first couple of years I was homeschooled because I was just too sick to go to school every day. But then finally in third grade, just like any other kid, I started to go to school. And that first day of school in third grade, that's when it hit me. That's when I truly realized that I was different. I had to wait until I was in the ninth grade to finally be able to play a sport. So I want all of you to make me a promise. I'm being real with you now. I want all of you, starting today, to appreciate every single thing you have in life. To be thankful for everything that you have in life. Your family, your friends, the great university that you go to. I want you to appreciate every single thing you have in life. Even the simple things that you don't think about on a daily basis, like having your legs. Because trust me, there are a lot of people out there like myself that will never be as fortunate as you. So be thankful and appreciate what you have in life. And I heard Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once say, wherever you're going in life, you should fly there. Get there as fast as possible. Don't let anything stop you. If you can't fly, you're going to have to run. If you can't run, you better walk. And even if you can't walk, like myself, then you're gonna have to crawl. crawl. The point is that you never ever let anything stop you from being successful in life. At the beginning of my presentation, I told all of you something. I told all of you by being born disabled, not having legs, I was dealt a bad hand in life. Well, just because you dealt a bad hand doesn't mean you have to fold. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean you have to give up. You have to persevere. You have to keep on living life. Day by day. You can't live life looking in the rearview mirror. You have to be able to look through the windshield, look forward, and move forward in life. And adversity comes in many shapes and forms. It comes in many shapes and forms. Growing up in a single parent household, Maybe having your family struggle financially, or maybe even not having legs like myself. But once again, the point is, you have to keep on moving forward. And went on to make the Penn State Wrestling Team, Division I Penn State Wrestling. And I finished with a record, a collegiate wrestling record of 5 and 13. 5 and 13. Five wins, 13 losses. And I speak to a lot of middle schools and high schools, and usually by, when I tell them that, they don't think much of it. They don't think that's too good. Some of them even think I failed. That's not the way I look at it. The way I look at it, I went from a kid that had to be homeschooled because I was too sick to go to school every day. I went from that kid to a young man who graduated from Penn State University. Go ahead. And tell me I failed. What I'm trying to say is, I think sometimes in life, success can't be measured by wins and losses. Sometimes, you have to look at the whole picture. Sometimes, you need to have a different perspective on life. And hopefully, by hearing my story tonight, all of you will have a different perspective on life as well. And at the end of the day, I want all of you to be successful in whatever you choose to do. And don't ever limit yourself to anything short of success in life. Because limits are often like fears. They're just an illusion. Thank you for your time, guys. Appreciate it.